America's tuning fork, a dagger in the heart of its illusions, a raging commie. Whatever they called Pete Seeger, even his enemies had to admit that he was a fabulous musician, one of the greats of American folk music. He died last night at the age of 94 after a short illness. A week before, he was still chopping wood on the banks of the Hudson River. President Obama was among those paying tribute. Pete used his voice and his hammer to strike blows for workers' rights and civil rights, he said. Just three years ago, at the age of 91, he was still on the streets. This time at an Occupy Wall Street demonstration. A troubadour of trouble for whom protest was much more than just a tune, but a way of life. The same old story told. His early association with Woody Guthrie, the founding father of folk, inspired his genuine kinship with the plight of the common man. He used his mastery of music to address not the romance of the American dream, but the waking reality of a harsh and often unjust America. His protest went well beyond the lyrics. His membership of the Communist Party in the 1940s led to his being called before McCarthy's Committee for Un-American Activities. That led to his disappearing from America's television screens for almost two decades. His songs provided a soundtrack for the Vietnam War protests at home and abroad. He backed environmental causes before it became fashionable. I tell people nobody can prove a thing, but uh, obviously if I didn't think music could help save the human race, I wouldn't be making music. He was an early fan of the young Bob Dylan and shared the shock of Dylan's use of an electric guitar at the infamous Isle of Wight Festival. Once upon a time something he later put into context. I was furious that the sound was so distorted you could not understand a word that he was singing. I was so mad, I said, damn, if I had an ax, I'd cut the cable right now. I really was that mad. In his later years, the accolades started to mount. Bruce Springsteen staged the Seeger Sessions at London's of Hammersmith Apollo and paid full tribute to the activist's back catalogue. As I went walking Five years ago, Seeger joined Bruce Springsteen and the crowd in singing the Woody Guthrie anthem, This Land is Your Land. The venue, the National Mall in Washington, D.C., a stone's throw from where he was once interrogated for anti-American activities. Here he was, serenading America's first black president at his inauguration. Seeger, America's tuning fork, as the president described him today, in tune with the arc of history. Pete Seeger, who died last night at the age of 94.